Hi guys, this is uh, Fabiana from Creative Swimwear. I teach you every week how to make a, a different uh, bikini or sometimes swimsuits. And so this week we are making this one and we're gonna learn how to make a flower. We're also gonna learn how to um, make double crochets, the may make single crochets on top of your straps so and still be able to move this top like this. Okay, that's something that makes will make your production if you make bikinis to sell much faster, okay. And um, so the material we need for this for this top is um, four colors, so we're gonna need four balls of yarn. And so the yarn that I used is um, four ply yarn. Um, it's an Australian brand so I put always a link on the description below of the brand you can buy in America or if you are in Europe just look for a four ply thread made out of cotton it's um, they're all 100% cotton yarns four ply they can't be um, really thick because uh, swimwear needs to dry fast okay so this is the yarn I'm using. It's each ball is 50 grams, but you're gonna be using maximum 50 grams to make the whole piece. So, but because you need four colors, you need four rows of it. You can use scraps if you have at home as well, because it's just you know a single flower doesn't use much yarn at all. And um, so the hooks I use. I used the um, 2.1 millimeters hook to make the straps, the strings, and then I used this 095. You don't need to, but it's easier to make these tassels, okay? And to make the crochet top itself and the flowers, I used the 1.6 millimeters hook, okay? So three hooks. You can make the whole the entire piece with only the 1.6 millimeters hook no problems if you have only this one it's it's okay and then you need a uh, thread same color of the color you're gonna use around it and um, polyamide lining okay it's the same lining they use for lingerie and and for swimwear Okay, and this is a very elastic lining and very thin, so it's perfect for this work. And the needle and and thread to stitch it. So let's start this let's start this beautiful pattern. I really loved making this design. So at the end of the video, if you uh, like this video, please subscribe to my channel and put a like on the video because that's that makes a lot of difference on the search on YouTube and that allows me to keep making um, more and more bikini designs for you guys. So to start making this bikini top we will be making the strap the bottom strap and so leave around 25 inches at the end with a double yarn okay we're gonna be using yeah double just to make a thicker strap so start with your slip knot that's how i make it just cross it and then chain so we're gonna be making uh, 200 chains here 
with a bit of thicker hook, 2.1 millimeters hook in this case. Could probably use, even use a little bit bigger if you wanted to. So make 200 chains there and then we're gonna start making our top after this. So at the end here after finishing your 200 chains leave the same 25 inches of of yarn at the end to make the other tassel okay and then cut the yarn here. Finish it here to make the tassel I'm going to I just put the hook through this last chain here and then pull it one put it around your finger like that two always in the same chain here okay three and four after finishing this four gonna use one of them like this and then make a few loops around it okay and then with a smaller hook just put through a few of these loops and oops so put it through a few loops there and then pull it here to the other side okay and then cut them all off even like this There's my tassel. You can brush the ends if you want. Looks better, I think. And so, repeat that same thing to the other side as well. And then we're gonna start the top. This one is the chart of the flower we will be making. This one, this flower, this flower here, okay? So that's what we are going to start doing now. Okay, just choose a color you want to start with. It doesn't really matter which color it is. Okay, and then we're gonna start the first flower, this chart here. So, to start this flower, we will be making our slip knot here. And then 10 more chains. So, one, two, three, four. Ten chains and slip knot in the first chain and then three chains up from here that's a, the first our first row so two three chains and a double crochet so two chains and now we are going to make um, double crochets together. So it's going to be one, two double crochets, finish them together in this last um, part of the stitch. And then after that, two chains. I'll repeat again. One double crochet. Don't make the last little loop, another double crochet, finish them both together and then two chains in between. So we're gonna make this 12 times, okay? So count one, two, three. When you have 12, you we're gonna finish this row and go to the next row. I made here 12 times two double crochets together and I'm going to join here in this first double crochet this actually is the third chain from before 
with a slip with a single crochet actually and then here in this next chain we'll be making another single crochet because we need to start here in the middle and so one two three more chains and then we're gonna make two double crochets together in this first petal here okay and then from here five chains two three four five in between them and now three double crochets together because remember the chains they always count as a double crochet okay so for them to be all the same now we need to make three so two three and then finish them together and then five chains in between five chains and another time three double crochets together one two three four five and three more so we're gonna repeat that same thing again 12 times okay until i'm back here so all the petals they're gonna be made right on top of your two chains from before okay and um so 12 of them One, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna make two more here to finish this row. Row off, we're gonna make two chains and a double crochet in this first stitch here. So that way we finish exactly where we need to start the next row, which is gonna be just seven chains two three four five six seven and one single crochet in this next arch one two three four five six seven another single crochet in the next arch and repeat that all the way to the end and then you can finish this first this first um, flower okay finish this row here with a slip knot in this first uh, stitch from the row before here use a slip knot here and then cut your yarn so the next um, the next flowers we're gonna be joining with this flower in this last row okay so repeat the second flower uh, the first row and the second row and then i'm gonna show you how to join the flowers in the third row okay so make these two rows in pink now of this uh, pink flower and uh, finished here where i am now and i'm going to join with this other flower so i'm going to join four petals of um, each color so this pink i'm gonna join with four petals of this uh, turquoise color and so to start now i'm gonna make only half of the stitches that i had before which was seven so i'm gonna make three one two three chains and then make sure you have the right side with the right side here okay so because um, you want to connect both right sides together you can see the difference here there's a lot more going on here than here here looks nicer actually it's really easy to tell with the right side so make three chains on the pink one 
and then uh, make both uh, wrong sides face together here and then we're gonna make a single crochet in this first arch here of the green color and then one, two, three chains and we're gonna connect to the, our uh, next our next arch in our pink flower again with a single crochet so we're gonna do the zigzag in between one and another so one two three chains and then you're gonna connect here with a single crochet in the next arch one two three connect with the next one here one two three connect with the third one one two three connect with the so i have three now i need to make only one more so one two three single crochet here one two three single crochet here so now I connected four petals here and I can finish this flower so I'm going to make seven chains again three four five six seven single crochet in the next arch and then go all the way around and finish here what I started you can then cut the cut the yarn after your slip uh, knot and then we're gonna make two rows of the purple with the purple color okay it's gonna be our purple flower and then I'm going to show you again how to connect the purple flower because the purple flower we're gonna connect with four of these um, arches and four of these arches okay to make a triangle with these three flowers my two rows on the purple color that's where I finished and so now I'm gonna make one, two, three chains here to start joining with uh, the other flowers that I already had so I'm going to join four this way and four this way so one you're gonna count this one together okay because yeah that's the last one so one two three and four here so this is the first arch you're gonna join with and make a single crochet here one two three chains another single crochet in this flower same we did before one two three join with the second arch one two three make sure they are facing all the right side to the front okay one two three join on this next petal one two three and in this next one one two three the next one one two three and then i'm going to join all these ones together so i'm going to make a stitch right here i want to get both sides here though no that's right okay just here right here you join all the sides together and one two three join back here and then we are gonna go now to the second color to the pink color one two three chains and join here in this next arch of the pink color now one two three and then keep joining with the pink until 
you join four arches as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. Join with the pink. One, two, three. Join with the purple. So I think that's it. Yeah, right, that's it. So you have to have eight, eight arches of the purple joined with the other two colors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but that's right. One, two, three, because this one counts as two actually so one two three four five six seven okay and four of each color which is one two three four here and four on this one so that makes our triangle and now we're gonna finish this row of the purple color okay like we did before and then we're gonna start making crochet around it to finish this top. To start here in one of the corners, okay, which is gonna be this one. Just to make sure I'm gonna get uh, the same, the, the flowers in the same position I had on the other side, okay. So make sure you, you make sure yourself that you put the flowers um, on the same sequence there as well so I'm going to start here on the right side in this corner here so you count one two one two this is the corner so I'm going to start here with my off-white yarn I always start this way I make a chain with both sides of the yarn and then I leave the tail on the back of my work and I work uh, um, stitches on top of it. So now I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make double crochets here. So one, two chains and two more double crochets in this first arch here, here three double crochets in this first arch and then six double crochets on the second one just um, go underneath the chains okay you don't need, need to go inside to make the stitch inside the chain it's just right on top of it so six and then go to the next arch make another six <coughs> five and six and then here one two three, four here, and three more here, one, I had a knot here, anyway, I'm gonna do it like that, just hide the knot. So three more here and then six again here So make six in each of these arches until you get to the top one, which is this one. Top one, one two, three. I'm gonna make six again, but uh, with a chain in between them. So one, two, three, 
and then one chain here just because we are right on top of this on the top of this top we we need we will need this space uh, later on to connect our strap to so one two three and then you repeat the same thing you did on this side on this side as well all the way to here um, in this next uh, arch here which is another corner we're gonna grab this tail and hide behind the stitches as well okay so put the tail right on hold with your finger like that and then we're gonna make one two three double crochets one chain and three more double crochets just to make a little corner there okay covered my tail here so i can cut it off straight away and here six more double crochets and repeat again seeing the same thing on this side until you get here to the other corner this uh, last corner here making one chain and um, slip knot here in that third chain from the beginning can actually be a single crochet here okay and then after this single crochet we'll be making our picot stitch around so one two three single crochets one two chains and a single crochet in here and then skip one one stitch from before and make one two three single crochets again two chains this the put the hook through this uh single crochet from before pass through make another single crochet and then skip one here and make a single crochet in the next stitch so one two and three and then repeat again same thing so repeat this all around this top the only place you're not gonna make the this picot stitch is right here on the top here you only make um, single crochets okay but make all the way around here from here to here and we won't have this picot stitch on the bottom so when we you get to this corner stop and then we're gonna finish this bikini uh, covering our strap and my last stitch here in this corner and now i'm gonna get the strap that i already attached the other side of this bikini so this one i'm going to make leave around two three fingers in here still you'll be able to move it after okay which so but it's good to make on the right side on the right place straight away okay and this is the way they they um, join the straps in bali and the reason is because instead of uh, having to pass it uh, up and down like in between the double crochets they do it this way to make it fast, faster on the production because uh, 
Yeah, when you're producing crochet, it's all about timing, so the less time you use to do things, the better, so that's the way they do it. And so you have here your last single crochet in this little corner here, and now you're just gonna put the strap behind your work, and you're gonna work a single crochets on top of it. Make sure they are not that tight because you want to be able to move your top around, okay? So make one single crochet in each stitch from before this way. So you're gonna put through the stitch here and around the strap yarn over and pull it okay so it doesn't need to be very tight just give it some space so we can not um, move it around later on so we'll be making one single crochet to every double crochet from before here okay So when you put through the back, you're gonna cover the strap and then pull it so it's the same size of the size of this. So later on, when you wanna move around this bikini top, you're gonna be able to. So keep doing this until we reach the other side and then you can finish it off but I'm gonna show you how to and then all you have to do after that is the top straps which will be the same uh, we did here double we're gonna use double yarn to make them single crochet in my last corner here and I think we are finished with it now okay so I'm just going to make a chain here and cut my yarn off and then later on I'm gonna hide this uh, yeah this tail on the back okay so it's this one and so this is a, how our bikini looks like now okay so as you can see here you can still move it okay because you normally need to you know do that in bikinis just to get the best fit on your body and so this way it's a very nice way, I think, to cover the straps like that. I really like it. And so now I'm gonna show you how to make the um, straps here, okay? So right on the top here in this, uh, in this single crochet right on top and in the middle of my top I'm going to put the hook through the stitch and pull both um, both sides of the yarn like that it's double as you can see and then I'm going to make the first chain with all the tails and everything and the same with the second one if you don't want to do that and you think it's too thick there you just um, leave the tails behind like that I'm gonna show you here how to do that as well so I that's the way I do the one I showed you before you can leave the tail behind 
and work like that and then finish the tail on the back later on so I'm gonna make this way now um, you make a hundred hundred chains should be enough for this size okay if you're making a bigger size normally 120 chains or something like that and then so you make this hundred hundred chains here and then at the end 25 inches to make uh, tw uh, leave 25 inches of tail so you can make the tassel again on the back as well, on the top straps as well okay so I'm going to do to make both sides 100 chains to the top then I'm going to finish these tails here that I have and then I'm going to show you the final result of our bikini finished making my straps here and now with this tail what I'm gonna do is put the hook through one of the stitches from uh, behind okay behind the work not in front of it and then make a yarn over here pull it and we are gonna make a little knot here just to make sure this is um, this is um, it's not gonna open because this, there's a lot of pressure on the straps and then just put the yarn through a few stitches as you can see I don't really use tapestry needle to do that I think it's a job so that's the way I do it I think it's much easier but you know you choose the way you do it I just think that way works for me I've been doing that for a long time so yeah put put the tail through a few stitches okay and then cut it off i already finished all the tails the same way okay so all the other ones are finished as well and so the reason why here i have a, i have a double crochet row is because uh, later on when we have to uh, stitch the um, when we have to stitch the lining because this bikini needs lining definitely needs lining and so I'm going to, I'm going to stitch it by hand as I always do because I just prefer it but you can do that as well in your sewing machine the only thing is make sure here that you don't stitch on top of this part here because remember that this strap need to move okay they need to move so you can adjust to your body okay and so what you do now is lay the bikini flat like that and if you want you can make a paper mold i think in this situation it's going to be much easier to just draw a paper make a paper mold for your uh, lining and then stitch the lining with the zigzag stitch in your sewing machine and the same the same uh, color as this color here because otherwise it's gonna yeah it's gonna be it's gonna show up on the front so it needs to be the exact same color this off-white color okay I'm going to probably use um, I'm not too sure yet if I'm gonna use a, a turquoise color on the back or a pink color but but I'm gonna show you how it looks like at the end and so that's it guys our bikini is ready I ended up choosing a skin color material um, the reason why is because then all the flowers show like the same and it looks skin color on the bottom anyway 
and the the second reason is because it's a more so it's more soft uh, materials uh, uh, polyamide aligning okay and because it's more soft it's gonna you know just um, fit better on your on your bra I reckon sometimes when you use lycra it's a bit too tight on the back and it it doesn't really fit that well so I decided for this one and so what I did was I um, stretched this bottom part here to the limit where it doesn't where it doesn't move anymore and um, and then I put the I put the lining um, behind it and I cut right on top of it so the size is perfect I don't think I got it right here because it's it's not um, exactly the same on every side sometimes makes a difference you know I'm just trying to find out. I think it was like this. Yeah, that's it. And sometimes too, I cut a few pieces just to make the perfect size of your crochet part. Okay. And then with the very fine needle and thread, see my thread's the same color of my the part where I'm where I'm um, stitching this uh, line and so I'm gonna start here on this in this corner here okay just make sure you per you place it perfectly where it has to go okay and I'm, I'm going to start right here So I first put from my yarn only just to make a knot. I already made a knot in the thread. Okay, I'm gonna use around a meter of thread. And so, but here I'm going to make a knot just to make sure this is not gonna open later on okay and then and then after that you put through the lining and I'm going to be making the same stitch I made before which is in the fabric here inside the inside the your crochet but in a way that it doesn't go all the way through so you won't be able to see the thread on the other side okay so just from the middle of your crochet to the top here and not all the way through on the back if you know what I mean don't put the needle all the way through just yeah go shallow here don't go all the way deep down on all the way to the other side and then I'm gonna keep making these stitches around if you want I don't really use them but you can put pins around it to make sure you stitching the right way but because this this lining it's so stretchy I don't think we need that just make sure you know you, you you're gonna get here on the top with this part here and on the other side here you make sure it's stretch enough so it works right for you so I'm just gonna repeat this all the way around and then our bikini is ready ok 
Okay, repeat there and I'll finish here. Each stitch in both sides here. You have a look how it looks like. When you get to this part here, make sure you don't stitch on top of that last row because it needs to move. Okay, the, the string needs to move so you can't stitch on top of it. So you need to stitch. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't make, I didn't put this lining uh, using a sewing machine is because I wanted this stitching to be right on top of that row there. If you want to stitch with the um, with your sewing machine, what I would do is before I make this last row, you stitch the um, the lining underneath it. I I will do this way, and so that's how it looks like with the skin color lining in it. Okay, as you can see, it's it was a really easy piece to make. I think for me it was, and I hope you enjoyed this this uh, tutorial like and share like and subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot to grow in the on the youtube searches and that helps me to keep making more bikinis for you guys thank you very much for watching and i see you on the next one